So now we're going to look at an example of a non-fiction text. Think about what you could write about it in terms of the effectiveness of the language. Okay, so this is the example. Wynwood House is a perfect place to stay. It has been the best hotel in all of Southwood since 1886. That's 100 years of perfection, and it does not seem to show any signs of changing. So we can be thankful for this. Wynwood House is five star and promises to offer an experience like no other. You've only got to go to www.wynwoodhousehotel.co.uk to see what you're missing. Okay, so the use of the proper noun here, followed by the alliterative use of perfect place, makes it sound like nothing could be criticised about it. The superlative best makes the reader think that there is nowhere better to stay. And the fact it's been there since 1886 suggests it must be doing something right. The plural personal pronoun we makes the reader more involved in the text and is followed by the second person you've which is aimed at the reader, and then the inclusion of the website, which means perhaps it's a more reliable and trustworthy piece of text. So always consider how language works. Remain focused on that. And now we're going to move on to think about some other techniques and devices you could use when analysing non-fiction texts.